eight people injured here. Fifty three. Wrath of Baal. Blue team. Whole bunch of Space Marines. First up is Krog as an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default. Begins with a target heal and a passive health regeneration aura alongside a couple of force commanders. First up is Tyberos. We also have Ninja. There he is. These guys fight in melee combat. Can also tank, disrupt, and support with buffs. But have some powerful offense. Ninja using the Ultramarines DLC from Relic. Red team, Zeno is a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive commander, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Some strong offense and disruption fights mainly in melee combat. Imperial Guard alongside we have Juice as a Lord General. Fight strange combat begins with a retinue of stormtroopers to help him out. Strong defense and support. This is the Death Core of Krieg DLC. And rounded off the teams, Honiken is a Inquisitor, offensive commander with awesome control abilities, can also support a little and smack you in the head pretty good too. That's over on the west side, fighting the Apothecary mid is Lord General versus Force Commander. So we might see the Storm Shield up for the Force Commander, especially if that Lord General gets a heavy weapon team up, but it's Double Guardsmen into Sentinel for both of the Imperial Guard players so far. Force Commander's taking a lot of Lasgun fire to the jawline and down he goes. Not a good start. First engagement, lose your hero. No real reason for him to be lost there. Maybe he was doing something with his scouts. Look as his scouts dropped a model. East side, Chaos Lord's getting a little low hit. Force Commander trying to get a model off those CSM. He's pretty close to doing so, I think. But the tactical marines having to move away because the heretics are coming in and they retreat out safely but can he get a CSM model here? Doom Blast goes off. Nice special attack. Can he follow it up? Cannot quite get one. Pretty damn close. Must have been close to losing a model there. Not sure if he was attacking the model with the least health or not. Purification Vials already on the field for the Apothecary could be devastating in the tight corridors of Wrath of Baal, and there we go, smack. That might wipe both of those squads if they're not careful. Retreated out, just barely got away, holy crap. Three hit points on one of those Garzon squads. Just was not paying attention, Honiken there. Does have the Holy Brazier up. We know how good Holy Pyre is, as well as some power melee to scare these tactical marines, and they very lucky to get away with two models there. Juice is, um, Pushing through the mid. Here are some Devastators though. Guardsmen shooting up some generators. Not sure. Oh, Ninja's on the east side. On the edge here. Moving forward. Maybe go after the VP or decap this wreck point. CSM are still in play though to defend. The power is uncapped there. Scouts out of cover trying to shoot a Sentinel. But there's a stomp. And that should force off. Tyberos' army completely, I think. Sentinel's pretty low on health. Needs to be careful for the next time Tyberos comes out. These guys are quite pointlessly capping this unless he nodes it immediately, which he does, and he's just going to be decapped straight away. There we go. West side. Very narrow here. You could try and goad some guardsmen in and throw a purification vials on their faces again. Assault Marines for Ninja. Tyberus also might want some Assault Marines in the mid just to get that quick pressure on Juice and make him back hell up. Leveling up are the Guardsmen shooting down generators. Here comes Ninja back to defend. Just the Force Commander, is it? Assault Marines in play. Jump troops with heavy infantry armor disrupting units when they land on them. Those guys were already in retreat though, so were not knocked over. Vengeance rounds in play here from Tyberus in the mid and he is getting some Assault Marines as is Krog. Assault Marine per player. This Sentinel is in trouble. Being chased by Scouts. Turns around to shoot. What are you doing? Keep moving. Uh, That was a very risky stomp and he's going to pay for it with a loss. I'm not sure why he was trying to stomp the Scouts there. Just get the hell away. Leveling up is the Apothecary. Yep, it was a misplay for sure. Level 2 Apothecary. Tactical Marines getting into, not really getting into cover actually, wrong side of those pipes. Double Tactical Marines here for Krog with Assault Marines. Could be tough for Honiken to deal with. He does have, have a heavy weapon squad moving up, they will be jumped immediately but he does have the Sentinel there to stomp any 
the sword moves that get close. Looks like the Force Commander of Ninja with a power sword is coming over to try and revive Tyberos in the mid. Might be able to do so, but here comes Juice with full army. What he has left of it is gone tier 2 though. Almost got a model off those tactical marines. Those assault marines might need to jump in if this guy's going to try and revive it. Does have artificer armor also. It looks like Juice is backing off. Saw those assault marines I think and assumed that there was more there. There's the jump. Sentinel might have used his stomp already actually. So it looks like that was the second jump judging by the assault marines energy reserves. Inquisitor puts down Holy Pyre. And did she just use her Hammer of the Witches as well? Looks like she did the animation for it. Oh, maybe it was just her lifting her Holy Brazier to attack. Assault Marines, did you drop a model, fellas? No, they didn't. Down to 200 hit points thereabouts with no model drops. Heretics on the east side decapping. There's a fully matured wreck point in 3v3. Goes up to plus 15. Can they get jumped, are they? And having an aspiring champion will be pretty easy to beat them down and shoot them down. But we do have some aspiring champion heretics in the middle. That was a shot from a heavy turret. Juice dropping in there in tier 2. And that thing has vehicle armor. And they don't have any anti-vehicle weapons in tier 1. Aside from these vengeance rounds. So that might be hard to deal with quickly. But Assault Marines get away okay. These heretics might not get away okay. Got to jump after them Assault Marines. Surely no. Does not jump after them. Might have got a kill if he did. Not a guaranteed, but I think he had a pretty decent chance of finishing them off there. Let's go on the west side. They're really determined to fight off, fight over, I should say, this uh, contested power. Haven't seen any runs at the VP or any runs at this power yet. There might have been one. Maybe the scouts had a look up there. We have Plasma Garzman already up by... Uh, Deuce, I think that's a mistake. Maybe he should have got Ogrins up as he got to tier 2 in pretty good time. Turret is kind of far back. I can't see the range of it here. But um, it can reach the VP, I'm pretty sure. There we go. So okay, hit objects there. That's pretty weird. Mark of Corn CSM in play with power melee chain axes and plasma pistols. They will certainly give a good fight against those assault marines. Assault marines with their merciless strike can do a lot of work but otherwise they don't really want to fight those muckle corn csm and we have lightning claws chaos lord 100 dps power melee this thing is insanely expensive as well 200 wreck 50 power i believe also has the harness of rage so we might see the dark halo alongside nice special attack on these tactical marines might get a model especially if they try and retreat out from here he's ripping them apart tybros i don't think paying attention to them there we go there's a retreat. I did drop two models though. That was another special attack. Not a kill the week. Has he used it already? Does have a 60 second cooldown now I believe. Which was a relatively recent change. Late last year I think he got an increased cooldown to kill the week. Assault Marines jumping in. Chaos Lord going to town on that Force Commander and Mark of Corn CSM in there to finish him off. And he's still staying in play. Holy crap, Chaos Lord going ballistic here. Level 2 and Mark of Corn CSM leveling up. The Space Marine is getting ripped apart by some power melee over there. Sentinel still level 1 for Hanoken. Hanoken? Hanoken? Something. But uh, hasn't lost it. Did lose his power though while I was watching all those Space Marines get ripped apart. Ogrin's on the field though for Hanoken. And uh, these guys are heavy melee with super. Heavy infantry armor. They can do work for you. Catching some tactical marines in retreat. Can't do enough work to drop a model there though. Heavy turret. Shooting up the tactical marines who are trying to flame it down. Which is not what you want to do. Does not have vi uh, building armor. Oh that was bashed and decapped as well. Nasty done by Krog. Did a lot of work there. Uh oh. Going to lose his apothecary though. Double uh, Mark of Corn CSM for Xeno into Plague Marines and those uh, Aspiring Champion Heretics and a Chaos Lord who was looking very very mean with those Lightning Claws. What's this? Scouts with shotguns was it dislodged a heavy weapon squad. Maybe those scouts were infiltrated and stuff. Plasma Cannons for both Kyberos and Ninja 
deuce with triple stormtroopers on the field. This guy's down but does have his sniper rifle so he's going for that long range massive burst of anti-infantry damage shenanigans. Ogrin's in amongst devastators here taking out a model. Already making an impact these guys. Add some much needed killiness to Honiken's army over here. Especially if they're going in alongside that Inquisitor's some scary damage on the front lines. Manticore on the way for Deuce. Looks like it cancelled the third Stormtroopers. So just going two into a Manticore, which should serve him quite well. Chaos Lord defending his VP. Lightning Claw is ready to tear stuff apart again. These guys have their uh, Sergeant, I should say, their Sword Squad. Dropping a model, but they do get away. So they do have their Power Sword model now with Merciless Strike. Plague Marines on capping duty might run through and chain axe some generators to, to the ground oh bunch of dead heretics over there I think that was a pretty old death just didn't see the red numbers until the camera was there here we see Krog full army in attendance around the apothecary you see all that green regen aura goodness going on guys I kind of know you're gonna set up fella Inquisitor wasting no time getting right in there with Inquisitorial Mandate active, but now it's really not active, and down she goes. Took a bit of a while for the Ogrins to come in. Down goes a Sentinel. Not a well-judged engagement for Honiken in the end. Another Plasma Cannon shot. I need to just straight up run the hell away, I think, Honiken. Ogrins staying in play, but now they run away. 373. 365 is very close on VP. There's a drop pod coming in the mid. I guess that brought some reinforcements, or did it bring another tactical marine squad in for Tyberos? Not sure. There we see those um, stormtroopers weighing in with those hotshot las guns. Or are they hell guns? Hotshot las guns, it says here. They're overcharged. Power Sword Force Commander trying to do some work. On those Mark of Corn CSM, knocking them back at least with his battle cry going off and makes them run away. Where's his other squad of Mark of Corn? They're already in retreat. Here comes that Chaos Lord, he's level 3 now. Uh oh. Dreadnought up for Ninja. Apart from the Plague Marines, not really a whole lot they can do about this guy. Plague Marines have those snaring missile launchers, of course. Need a turn to get another shot. There you go. Dreadnought is going straight after them for that fact. But now they can turn the shoot again, having lost their furthest back model, which did have the missile launcher. Manticore Strike, trying to hit the Dreadnought with it. Manticore Rockets do a hell of a lot of damage to vehicles. So paired with that snaring missile launcher, could be dangerous for the Dreadnought. They've managed to make it back the hell off at least, and they're holding mid on a red team. Not actually capped the VP though. Grenade goes in and scouts run away. Plasma cannon shot. Ouch. Did you guys... No. They didn't get that much XP actually. Almost wiped out a Guardsman squad. Guess they didn't kill that many models. Lord Reynolds now level 4. Has flak jacket too. Incomings. Very, very useful. And finishes the cap. 2-1 Two -two cap now for Red Team. But what's going on over here? Frog is capping that natural power of Red Team over here. Ogrin's in play. Inquisitor's still down. Gonna be tough to revive her from there, I think. Merciless Strike goes off. But they are in danger of dropping the entire squad, the Assault Marines. Looks like they'll get away. <coughs> Scouts. Uh, are they gonna be fine? It's a nice grenade and looks like they are okay I thought all those guys were gonna force melee combat on them and get them down we have assault marines in melee with a turret it's not fair lads a turret can't fight back it's been there for a while but here comes some mark of corn CSM and a very angry chaos lord and it lives now it needs some repairs scouts are still skulking around trying to get far enough away for the infiltration to kick in there we go or is it just kick in after a certain amount of seconds? Might be that. Uh oh. Guardsmen getting shot down by double tactical marines. Down they go. These guys both have.
Plasma Gundras is really bad news for the Ogrins. Honakin again caught kind of not paying attention to his forward line there. Oh, it looks like he was lagging according to the chat. Lots of tier 3s going on. Honakin, in fact, will be the only player still in tier 2. It's looking quite thin too. With Guardsmen, Heavy Weapon Squad and some Ogrins. Lag would certainly explain his behaviour over there. Inquisitor's back on the field. Holy Brazier and the Mandate is up. Going to kick off in the mid though. Bunch of hotshot las guns forcing the plasma cannon off immediately, which is good for the red team's little push here. Double plasma gun tactical marine shooting up this chaos lord who's trying to cap. Gets the decap, but he's not going to be able to stay there for long. I don't think he's paying attention, and down goes that chaos lord. Is he just going to get revived immediately? Though he might do. Manticore strike, very powerful on this map. Helps you cover like two sides. Your natural and the contested at least. Smack. Plasma cannon shot there. Here comes some Mark of Corn CSM. Can they get close though? Those are shotgun scouts, but looks like they've not got the energy for a shotgun blast. Another big plasma cannon shot. And those guys run away. Okay, let's throw it back on his feet. And back to capping immediately. They did not repair that um turret. Is that a medical bunker? What is that? I don't know. Chaos Lord does get away this time. That is a Predator tank for Tiberus. Creeping Barrage just delays the cap. I think they should still get it just fine. Yet yeah, we do have some tactical marines capping right now, in fact. Scout swapped out by trying to take a booby trap bunker, which is always fun to see. Anointed Power Axe up on the Apothecary also has Combat Stims and Purification Vials. Some naughty scouts decapping and maybe even capping red team's natural and we see the inquisitor doing the same over here bringing her ogrins into play yeah old predator tank might get caught here by the ogrins but it's a hell of a lot of support for it including some plasma guns so those ogrins need to run the hell off inquisitor still capping puts her mandate up to give her Immunity and a nice speed buff She can use to run the hell away She finishes the cap and then retreats out And it's tier 3 for Honaken Ninja with some Vanguard veterans on the field First company of Salt Marines With a whole bunch of power melee weapons Including a Thunder Hammer that has a passive I believe it's 15% chance To knock back the model it hits Which is pretty handy They do lose their Melter Bomb though so a bit less utility exchange for the raw melee power. 365, 288 and more health of guy of course. These guys have 1800 at level 1. 365 to 288, 1 to 1 cap. And again this power being hit by Krog has done a good job keeping the pressure up on this. Not seeing any run for this power. Aside, aside from right at the start when the, the Imperial Guard was shooting them down. Land Raider Phobos on the way for Zeno. Lehman Russ on the field for Deuce. Not sure if he called it in or not. I don't think he did. Oh, chasing down a Predator tank now. Does not have the Vanquisher cannon. Or the Executioner yet. But uh, Predator lives. Power being bashed right here, just as I said, it wasn't bashed a lot. Heretic's gonna decap that as well. Good play from Zeno. Oh, maybe not. What are you doing? Are you gonna decap for those? They are going for the decap now. Tactical Marines. Don't think you need to send both of them in to tie him up, but I guess he wants to kill models here. Sacred Standard on the field for the Force Commander, buffing nearby Allied infantry units in their damage by 25% as you can see won't be buffing the dreadnought though dark age of technology is in play but taking shots from the plague marines can't just keep it sitting there taking plague marine shots there's a jump 365 to 244 vanguard veterans are gonna smack around some plague marines here plague marines are actually regular infantry so they will take full damage from piercing and regular melee but power melee is always nice to have. 
There's the jump again from the Vanguard veterans. Plasma Cannon is going to be wiped out by this very angry Chaos Lord who does have the Dark Halo up. Powering it, of course, with the Harness of Rage giving him energy per hit. And then runs away. It's done well, that Chaos Lord with his claws. Level 5. Look at this, though. Lehman Russ, Manticore, and a Land Raider Phobos. Is it going to go straight after that tank? I guess not. Might go after the Dreadnought. Not the most mobile thing of Dreadnought. Oh, one more shot might take out the Force Commander. No, I guess not. He lives. Retaking his power is Honiken. Who has some Kashikin up in Tier 3, but they're back at base hanging out. There's that Holy Pyre again. Moving out of it quickly as Krog, which is what you want to do. It's not a favourable time to engage the enemy, then don't engage them. So Holy Pyre, I'll finish this best and just back away. Make the Imperial God come to you, which is generally not what they want to do. Ogrin's running away, but they've done decently well, I think. I think it's Honiken's other losses that have really hurt him on this west side. Lost his power quite a lot over there. 365 to 191. What is this? Imperial Guard. Lord General trying to cap the mid. Red team are still in this. They have some strong units on the field. Zeno's army looking pretty mean too. The Cursed Lord running riot. At level 5. What's this? It's Heretics retaking the VP there. Got a lot of VPs to make up though, Red Team. 200 in fact. And Plasma Cannon is trying to stop these caps here. Is he just ground targeting? Yep, looks like he's ground targeting. Smack! Oh, didn't hit anything. Needs to readjust his targeting. Tactical Marines hitting level 2. And bashing a node for the Emperor. Level 3 Guardsman. When are we going to see everything converge on the mid for a big battle? Don't think it's going to be far off. They know the Phobos is there. So do we see any missile launchers hitting the field? Not that I can... See. Oh, there we go. We've got one for Krog's tactical marines. And he can put combat stims on them. Also has some Terminators who could get close with Power Fist. And they have the Cyclone missile launcher. A Predator tank could wane, of course. He's gone for the Laz Cannon. And here comes another. They do certainly have the AV to deal with the Phobos relatively quickly. But a, man a good Manticore strike could absolutely wreck that blob of tactical marines there. Or at least make them run away. And if you can do that every big fight, make the tactical marines run away. You're probably going to win that fight. Honiken taking the opportunity as Krog has gone mid to run down this west side capping stuff. Well done you, Honiken. Going to decap the VP maybe? Or is he going to try and flank and attack? Plasma Cannon getting shots in. Mandate. Does the mandate not stop? Not back or he just not put it up in time? Here comes Krog to defend. Are you getting hits? You are getting hits. Takes out a model and makes Krog readjust. Rocket run. Decent one too. Ouch. Did it wipe out one of his tactical marines? It did. I don't think it did, but it got pretty damn close. Ogrin's fighting some assault marines, but those guys with them um, advanced healing. So it looks like he's switched out of the combat stims right here. Brother Kerry lives. Yes. That's going on mid. Whole bunch of stuff going off this Predator tank. A bunch of melee chaos stuff, but those Vanguard veterans are pretty scary. Power Fist Force Commander 2 is not what you want to see if you're facing up against him. Another Sacred Standard. Now I don't know if those things stack. If they do, that's mad. Repair Banker is up. Sniper Rifle of the Lord General taking shots on these guys. Might drop this squad here, Tyberos. He's not paying attention to these Tactical Marines and down they go, disintegrated by the Phobos. Hell's Lord level 6 now, running away. Got pretty low there. And those Tactical Marines did cap that, so it's a 2 to 1 for Blue again. We have some Tactical Marines with And They Shall Know No Fear active, trying to decap. They did decap. Are they going to try and actually cap? There's an Orbital. Targeting the um, Manticore. 
Manticore needs to move. Oh, but he can't. Flesh over steel has gone off. Down goes the Manticore. Well played on Ninja's um, Force Commander there. Didn't do a whole lot with the rest of the beams and you, you could say that the Orbital wasn't needed to take down that Manticore. So maybe not the best nuke ever, but the Manticore did go down. Who was it who actually dropped it? I think it was Krog that nuked. Not sure though. He's retaking his VP here. This is Zeno. Has some Havocs, which is always good. Late game. Try and bring them mid with some heavy weapons. Lord Jenner was decapping. Oh, he did take out the bunker with that orbital, so I guess that was pretty good. Frogs Apothecary leading a line, which is generally not what you want to do. He's level 8, this guy. One level off his maxed out heal. Look at this. Some plasma gun Kasukin. Grenades flying in here. Those guys put out some serious DPS. Almost wiping out those devastators in a flash. There's Purg Purgatus from the Inquisitor also. All kicking off in the mid. Bunch of chaos moving in. Big fight here. This could be deciding. This could be very, very vital. Imperial Abyss from Xeno. Really good push from the red team. Very quick. Both converge on the middle at just the right time here. To support the Imperial Guard player. That was a... Was that the Predator tank going down? Uh, yes, I think that was one of the Predator tanks going down. Here's the other one. Oh, some Assault Terminator is called in by Tybros. Chasing after some Guardsmen, which is probably not the best use of their time. But there's nothing else really in range. Are these guys going to go for a cap here? 2-1 to one for blue still. Red need to get hold of their natural and keep it for extended periods. Here comes the Chaos Lord. What is he up to? He's trying to path around the Force Commander and then gets annoyed with the pathing system and takes out his annoyance on the Force Commander's face. But he gets away and there's the cap. So it's going to be a 2-1 to one for red, but for how long? And is it going to be long enough to tick down 293 VPs? Assault, I mean, assault Terminators, which they actually dropped a model there. This guy needs repairs. Terminators of Krog are still at three models. They're okay-ish. Down to half hit points, but they are supported by an apothecary. What are they up to here? Oh, they're just going back to heal up. Those are drop pods in base for reinforcing. Lehman Russ on the way for Juice, his second one. He did lose his Manticore, of course, to the Power Fist of the Force Commander. But he doesn't have the um, Teleporter, right? No. None of them do. Some Scouts on the way for Tyberos, just to repair his Predator tank, most likely. Honokun with some Stormtroopers now, getting some Hell Guns. So he's got some serious anti-infantry firepower with all the Kasukins and the stormtroopers especially if we can start leveling these guys up victory point secured for these tactical marines level four taking back their natural and now they're starting to come mid blue team because they know they need to push against it i think it's good though if ninja keeps harassing this east side maybe with his scouts they have shotguns and a sergeant they can do stuff but he's repairing his dreadnought over there and we have Auto Cannon Havocs covering the VP. They could be jumped by Vanguard veterans though, forced off, and then Vanguard could just turn around and cap it. Scouts forgot to infiltrate or something? What are you up to? Just wanted to see what was there. Force Commander being very sneaky. What is he up to? Holy crap, that is some DPS. Down you go. Didn't even get a chance to use Hammer of the Witches. Here's a second Neiman Russ being repaired by another repair bunker and some guards and support there too. Blue team need to get a VP. Looks like they're doubling the east side. Zeno needs to call it now because he's going to need help defending. And the Imperial Guard player is not that mobile. So the sooner he says it the better. This would be a really good time to use Bloodlust Global for the Chaos Lord. And uh, it was forced off actually pretty damn quickly. So maybe not. 
Phobos is eating plasma cannon shots. And they're going to decap and most likely cap that VP. And Juice did not respond at all. But he's... Oh, he's over here. That's why. Are they both here? They are both here. And his Lord General is taking the VP. So they're going to swap naturals. Which still leaves them at a 2-1. to one. But look at this. Scouts being very, very sneaky. And decapping the VP on the mid under infiltration. Now you got to try and shoot that plasma cannon. Because he's going to keep doing that. Try and get behind it and shoot it down. Apothecary sprinting away with that armor of the Apothecary. 183, 40. Coming back out of base now is Zeno. Tactical Marines will take back the natural of the blue team. Ogrins are on the Dreadnought. And this Dreadnought has a ranged weapon, so no longer has melee resistance. Being chased out. Predator tank trying to help it out with some fire support. I think it should be okay here. Yeah, the Ogrins are forced to retreat. Power of his force commander at level 6, going to town on some guardsmen. Here comes another force commander, level 4. Lehman Rust needs to be very careful. Those assault terminators are going after the Phobos, maybe? That's what made it pull back there. Look how much resources Honiken has. He got a respendum fella. He's saving for a Bane Blade, it looks like. And Juice is also. I guess they must be. Two Bane Blades. Would be very powerful, but do they have the time? They only have 40 VPs. They're going to get a triple cap here, though. Look at this. Plague Marines are capping duty. Might be a triple. Might be a quick triple. Depends how quickly these guys can decap over here. Is it going to be a triple? Maybe. Nope. But it's going to be the 2-1. to one. A double for a little while, too. More Havocs for Xeno. Looks like he lost the Havocs that were guarding that VP. With that massive double push on the east side. So they responded to the double on the east. By doing a double on the west. Which kind of worked out for them. Dreadnought needs repairs. He's level 2. And there's another heavy turret coming in from Deuce. Chaos Lord level 6. Bane Blade is on the way for Honiken. And oh it looks like Deuce. Oh, I guess he spent some requisition on that turret so he's not getting a bane blade anytime soon scouts trying to decap under infiltration is risky because there's a whole bunch of stuff there ready to chop your eyes out but uh, they do get a decap very very sneaky looks like deuce is gonna maybe drop a lehman rust instead or he's just gonna buy one doesn't have the red i guess he spent it on the heavy turret Inquisitor is going to finish off those Plasma Cannon Devastators. Yes, he does. Or she does, I should say. And keeping the pressure up here. Honiken has responded and recovered quite well to those earlier losses. Kicking off in the mid, though. Terminator is trying to cap, but the Chaos Lord is on them with those Lightning Claws. And they had to teleport the hell out of there. What's going on over here? There's an Orbital. Didn't really do much. Made some stuff move around a bit. That was pretty much it though. 100 to 40. Single cap for the red team. Double Predator tank doing some work with Laz Cannons. Force Commander is down. Giving off that big damage buff. But only if stuff is close enough obviously. What level are these guys now? They must both be level 4. They have. They've done really well with this melee build has Xeno. Tactical Marines getting a missile launcher up. Triple Lehman Russes though. These guys with that curious 35% natural damage resistance. Which I always thought was a bit of a weird thing to have. But there you go. Land Red Redeemer on the way for Krog. Bane Blade on the field for Honiken. There it is. Going to go mid I guess. Yep. 39 to 40. Red team are holding on here. Really late land red redeemer, isn't it, from Krog? I would have expected the blue team to uh, get one up a little bit sooner, especially since they seem to be way ahead in terms of bashing power. That one on the west side for the red team got bashed tons. This Terminator's not doing so well. There you go. 
Uh, Krog lost almost his entire army. Down to tactical marines and assault squad. Just trying desperately to decap. Assault terminator is teleporting away. Zeno is floating tons of resources but doesn't have any more population to get anything useful. Could get a shrine up, which I think are five pop. Getting his natural back. And again, here comes Honiken to pressure this western side. Hasn't let up. And he's got some crazy, crazy firepower going on. This plasma cannon is just blowing chunks out of the health of those assault marines who very sneakily jump over the wall there. How dare you. Seven VPs remaining for the blue team. Looks like red team are going to take this. A really good combat. He's held solid. Didn't lose anything for a while. Zeno was very, very strong. Coming in, dipping into the middle with his scary, scary melee force. Level 8 Chaos Lord. Juice lost a lot, but recovered with a bunch of tanks, as Imperial God do. And Honokun recovering very well with double Kasukin into Stormtroopers and a Baneblade. Let's look at the heroes and the game. Level 10, Apothecary Krog did start very, very strongly. And in fact, carried that on into very, very late Tier 3, where he just lost a bunch of stuff. Was pretty strong for them. Tyberos, Force Commander, level 6. Level 4, Force Commander. We have a level 8, Chaos Lord, level 8, Lord General, and a level 5. Inquisitor, very fun, 3v3. Back and forth, pushes on both sides. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.